everybody. Welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're back home. Yes, we are. And that's going to be the topic of this video is our travels from San Diego to Rochester after you had your surgery. Mm-hmm. A medical emergency like we experienced. Right. Mostly you experienced. I experienced. It, um, it's through SkyMed. SkyMed Insurance Company. Yeah. Yeah, SkyMed Insurance, it's something that we've had for a number of years, and we have a little short video of, from last summer when we met with some of the SkyMed people at, a, at an Airstream rally, and we would like to share that with you now, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and talk about our experience and how we actually ended up having to use that insurance. So I'm here with Chris from SkyMed, and... Chris, can you tell people a little bit about what SkyMed offers for travelers like us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, SkyMed is the premier emergency medical transportation company in the industry. And why that is so important is there is a serious problem out there and it's only getting worse. Our insurance coverage, whether it's a major medical plan or a Medicare plan, is just not covering us to the percentage we think they are when it comes to emergency medical transportation which yeah. constitutes three things. Yeah. So you have your ground ambulance, yeah. you have your helicopter ambulance, and you have your fixed wing medical jets. SkyMed is one of the only companies in the industry that covers all three. But the biggest point is we're the only company that'll take you home by choice of the member. Right, and, and that's, that's a big reason why we subscribe to, to SkyMed. And we've been members for five years. Never had to use it, thankfully. But for us, because we, we're on the road eight months, six months, eight months out of the year, and Diane's not a principal driver of our rig. She can drive it. Sure. But if something happened to me, we could be stranded in a, another part of the country. And you know, I could be in a hospital. Um, and we've got our Airstream there. And our dogs are there. And maybe the hospital says, you need surgery. You're going to be laid up. Well, I don't want to be laid up in another part of the country. Yeah. I'd rather be laid up at home. And that's where you guys come in. Yeah, and you're, Randy's doing a perfect job of running down the services that we provide. Uh, one of our big services that I don't think we do a good enough job marketing is our primary driver disability service. Like you were talking about your wife doesn't right. drive the rig, correct? Right. So in the event of a medical emergency where you can't properly operate your motor coach and you are the primary driver, we're still going to get you home and your motor coach home. So that's just an ancillary service that we offer that is just an excellent service for people that are RVers and Airstreamers. But also you, you alluded to the pets. Yeah. You know, pets are family members as well. They are included in your SkyMed membership. In the event of a medical emergency, if you're traveling in your motor coach, we're going to get you home by medical Learjet if necessary. We're going to get your significant other home. We are going to get your motor coach home. And how we do that, by the way, is we actually pay to fly an insured and bonded driver out to your motor coach. And we pay for all the fuel, food, and hotel expenses right. to get that motor coach back home to your driveway. We get your pets home. We cover children up to the age 18 or grandchildren are with you in your guardianship we cover them up to age 18 as well. So what would happen if you have a medical emergency, we get them back home to their parents safely. So, you know, there's there's a lot of things we do and it's hard to go over over a few minutes. Right. But personally, what I recommend, if, if anyone has any questions or wants to learn more about the protection SkyMed provides, I would say get in touch with Randy and yeah. he can point you in the right direction. Yeah, leave a comment in the email below or the video below and then we can connect and um, our connect you up with uh, Chris at, or the, pe the right people at SkyMed to uh, get in more information on it. I, for us, it's a huge peace of mind that you know we know that we can go anywhere or even, and you didn't even mention this, if, if something happened at home and we had to be flown, which, you know, a car accident or something, that's probably one of the first things they're going to do is bring an ambulance or bring a helicopter in to get you to the hospital safely. You're going to cover that. What yes. my insurance doesn't cover, you guys are going to pick up, and it's not going to cost me anything, and that could be really expensive. So it is. It is. The insurance is very reasonable. We're comfortable with the payments on it, and I know a lot of the people that we've talked to are members of SkyMed too. Yep. And I think if you don't have it and you travel a lot, it's something you really need to be thinking about having. I think that's huge too, and I, I neglected to mention that. But yes, our membership program. We're one of the only companies in the industry that does have you protected at home away from home and worldwide. And that at home portion is very important because the majority of medical emergencies yeah. occur close to home. So whether it's ground whether it's ground ambulance, helicopter ambulance, we pick up one we pick up one hundred percent where your insurance leaves off or falls short. So it's just again another added benefit that really separates us from those other companies out there. Well 
Chris, thank you very yeah, much for, thank you. for uh, keeping us covered yep. and coming to this uh, rally and, and sharing your story with everybody. And like we said, leave a comment if you're interested in more information. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, hopefully you found that interesting um, about SkyMed. And in the video, I said, you know, that we have never had the opportunity to you know, the need to use this. Thankfully. And, thankfully, before then. But now we did. And surprisingly, it wasn't for the reason we thought we'd ever need it. We bought it mostly to right. cover if something happened to me. And if I had to, you know, you know, became incapable of driving the trailer and, and the truck, right. that, you know, you would have the insurance to kick in to allow us to get back home. But it actually turned right. out the other way around that you were the one that needed to go home. And so tell them a little bit about how you got home. Well, Randy, Randy worked with SkyMed while I was in the hospital. And when it was determined that I really couldn't, in my condition, ride in the tr or ride home. Drive home. Or drive, drive home, home from yeah. San Diego. We um, followed up with SkyMed, or Randy followed up with SkyMed. And made arrangements for me to fly. So that's what I end up doing. And I have to say, the arrangements, you know, were outstanding. Uh, they arranged because my doctor determined that, yes, I could fly. She released me to fly. But I would have to fly with a nurse. So that all of that was taken care of by SkyMed. And they, um, they actually hired, she was a probably like a contract traveling nurse. And um, we set it up to set the date that I would travel. Um, I traveled first class, which I never done before. And perhaps many of you have never done before. It, previously, it's, the closest you ever got the close to first class was walking through it was you went back to the cheap seats in the back of the plane. Right. So how my day progressed is they picked me up first thing in the morning, 8 a.m., right at the campground at the Airstream. I was picked up by a driver in a... Lincoln. A Lincoln. We were driven to the airport in San Diego. I was given a wheelchair service the whole way through the airport because of my medical status. I couldn't really walk. So I was given the... Um, Wheelchair service, door to door, up to where we boarded the plane. We boarded the plane first. And the, I guess the biggest difference between first class and other classes is there. there's only two seats on each side in each row, which makes it a little bit more comfortable for people traveling. And um, so Yeah, larger seats, a little more leg room. A little more leg room. And yes. you got a meal. And we also got a meal from, on our flight from San Diego to Chicago. Th that flight was pretty smooth. Once we landed in Chicago, it was rainy. The weather was nasty. It was later in the evening because of the time change. So again, I was greeted with a wheelchair. So I had wheelchair service from the airplane all the way to um, the gate that we were to board our plane at. We were allowed to board first. The flight from Chicago to Buffalo, like I said, the weather wasn't that great. And it wasn't with the time change. It really wasn't that long of a flight, right. maybe an hour or so. So after that, we were, you know, allowed first off the plane. And I think the most we were given was a, a drink because of the turbulence in the flight that, you know, they really didn't have time to serve anything. Right. So once in Buffalo, again, I got the wheelchair service. The driver was right there at the airport, and um, he took me right to my sister's house. So it was door-to-door -door, um, flight. Yeah. The nurse that I had was excellent. The yeah, only, she checked your vitals? She, well, she checked my, I guess, my heart, my heart rate and my oxygen level, my blood pressure, yeah. several times during the flight. She was a very nice woman, a um, very interesting woman, and um, yes, I, you know, it was, it was a good day. It was a, you know, and all the arrangements were made by SkyMed. For me, it was very comfortable.
Right, and so before we get into my return trip, let's talk a little bit more about contacting SkyMed and making these arrangements. Um, as soon as we knew you had a tumor, we contacted SkyMed and got the paperwork, which was, simple, which was a very simple form that was filled out by the doctor that specifies how you should travel. What Actually, it goes into detail what's wrong with you. And, you know, what's your medical condition, what's, what are your vital signs, and then it specify, the doctor can specify how you are released to travel. And in your case, you know, we worked with the doctor to make sure that, you know, you weren't going to have to be able, you weren't going to walk to through the airport, then you weren't going to be sent home on your own, that right. you needed a companion, you needed to make sure there was somebody with you. And there was options there that we probably could have used. You know, SkyMed could have sent somebody from our family out to fly with you if you wanted. But we felt that traveling with a nurse was, would be better for you. Doctor also recommended that you be picked up at the campground and taken to the airport and tra travel from the airport to your sister's home, which is what we specified. We wanted you to go to your sister's house because we didn't want Diane to come back to Rochester to an empty house. Right, and my sister lives close to the Buffalo Airport, so that made it really convenient. That was how we connected with SkyMed for this, and SkyMed was great. Um, their philosophy, we talked with Jim Edwards at SkyMed quite a bit, and his philosophy was that, you know, your family, and, you know, whatever you need, we're going to take care of you. And it was exactly that. Um, anytime I called in to talk to somebody, and not necessarily would I talk to Jim every time, it was they would put me to whoever was available. That way I got the quickest service. Um, but Jim usually was the one that followed up. And I don't even know if I told you this, but Jim called after you were picked up at the airport. He called probably about an hour or so later to check in to make sure everything was going okay, which I thought was just wonderful that, that they did that. It was really, you know, a great service for you. And But that's not all they, they did. They also covered my return back with the dogs and the trailer. Now, we had kind of gone back and forth because SkyMed would have flown me with Diane home, and they would have flown the dogs home if we wanted to. But the concern with traveling the dogs on an airline is that the dogs travel as cargo, and that means they go in the cargo hold, and if there's not room for them, they would get bumped to a different flight. We would also be responsible for the dogs' crates and transportation to the airport and from the airport home. And we were just uncomfortable with our dogs flying as cargo in, in the bottom of the plane. And they're probably perfectly fine, but, you know, we know our dogs and everything. Right, right. And so one of my friends, um, Jack, had volunteered to um, fly out and help me with the tra the, taking the trailer home. In fact, he even volunteered to take the trailer and everything home. He was just unsure about traveling with the dogs. Yeah, He's, and that that with our dogs, and if you know our dogs... Hmm. That would have been an issue. Um, yeah, Monty's a little shy with well, strangers, and he needs time to get to know everybody. Yeah, but to put them in with strangers yeah. would not have been a good idea. Right. But Jack did fly out, and SkyMed paid for Jack's flight um, to come out. I met Jack at the airport on Thursday night, and here's a little bit of video from that. Well, I'm at the airport. I'm in the cell phone lot, and I'm waiting for my friend Jack to get here. He's going to be my co-driver on the return trip uh, back to uh, Rochester, New York. Well, we're all hitched up, ready to start our trek back to New York. Jack and Monty are making friends. Yep, yep we are. <laughs> Truck and Airstream's are all ready to go. We're just waiting for confirmation from Diane that she is on the plane and ready to take off. So Jack and I continued on a five-day cross-country trip. We had to go 2,600 miles, and we set goals to try to do 525 miles a day. We actually met or exceeded that goal a few days, which allowed us a little bit of a cushion, uh, especially the first couple of days we exceeded that goal. We think we were doing about 550 or plus miles each day, which gave us a little bit of a cushion for other days when you know we needed it to kind of accommodate where we wanted to stop. Um, but we came across the country, we used rest areas and other areas to stop. We, it was really 
focused on driving. We shifted back and forth between the two of us on our driving. And we made the trip back um, in five days and got back to the Rochester area where I dropped Jack off um, with his wife. And, you know, it was about five o'clock in the afternoon. So it really Mm -hmm. was a pretty good trip back. Yes, and um, I flew on a Friday, and Randy and Jack left probably around the time I was taking off, and they drove until Tuesday, so they got home later Tuesday afternoon. And fortunately, the time that they traveled, they did not really encounter any weather issues. No, we had really good weather the whole trip. I mean, it was probably... Um, between 50 and 60 degrees most days. Um, nights were cold, and we had to run the furnace most nights. Um, nights got down into the freezing point a couple times. But during the day, it was, it was warm and comfortable. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> day three, we did another 500 miles, and... We have five, well, we have a little over a thousand miles left to go, about a thousand and thirty miles. So we are about to take off on that. We are in Springfield, Missouri, and we stopped here for the night at a KOA. We're going to hit the road this morning a little bit later than normal, about nine o'clock, and we will get another 500 in today. Should be get to Indianapolis by the end of today. The nice thing is that we we kept track of all of our expenses. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of overnight expenses because we did stay in a couple of rest areas and uh, a couple in a casino parking lot and such places that we know we could. And we I would, think one night you stayed at a KOA. Right? But one night we did stop at a KOA because we had a night at the at a rest area that was um, very noisy, and we weren't able to sleep very well. So we spent a night at a KOA to kind of rest up a little bit. We got there a little bit early, and this was in uh, Springfield, uh, Missouri, uh, right near the Bass Pro Shop. So we went out and treated ourselves to a nice dinner, got back a little bit early, watched a little television, and then, you know, spent the night there, and then got going first thing in the morning. Well, Jack's first visit to Bucky's. What do you think of the pumps so far? Well, I want to pump 47, but you ended up going to 67. I don't know why that is. (laughs) Yep. First time here, it's amazing. I told you to take a picture of my of my grocery. Their barbecue is really good. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's not what you would think. Oh, they got breakfast sandwiches here. Tacos. You uh, can't find something you're not looking. <laughs> so in Bucky's, make sure you get the right cup because I got the wrong cup. I had a white cup with coffee in it, and I had to go get a black cup. So always make sure you get the right cup at Bucky's. Successful visit at Bucky's. It was always a treat to find one of these along your trip, and it was kind of cool to be able to show Jack what Bucky's is like for the first time. So we got ourselves some breakfast. Uh, topped off the tank and we are ready to hit the road for the day. It was a good trip for both of us and um, the feature of this video is really about SkyMed and our experience with SkyMed. I'd have to say for me it was a very good experience and I mean in our situation we were so lucky to have this insurance and for all of you that travel any distance from home, you know, you just never know when something like this would arise and you would have reason to use SkyMed. Right, right. We we chose it because we travel six months out of the year. We're not at home. And so it makes it highly likely that we could run into a situation like this where we would need this travel, you know, medical relocation type of insurance. Um, but as it Turns out, I did a little bit of looking, and SkyMed offers different levels of insurance, and you could actually just buy insurance for a particular trip. Um, so if you're planning a long trip, maybe a couple months or something like that, 
and you wanted to get the SkyMed insurance, they offer plans for that. And they offer plans like we have where our coverage is throughout the U.S. Um, and then they offer international plans that they will fly you back home from anywhere in the world. Right. So we would highly recommend this. Um, I'm going to put some information in the comments below or in the description below. I'm also going to put a code in there that you can use to get a discount. Um, and we would appreciate if you use it because it does uh, reflect back on us and gives us a little bit of discount on our, our costs for SkyMed. So we would recommend that you you know you take advantage of this. Um, and the, the premiums are very reasonable. You're probably thinking, oh, this insurance, because of what it provides, is very expensive. And for us, the premium is less than fifty dollars a month right and and that may vary for everybody so depends I, on what type you know what, what, plan what level of insurance would, what right. plan you get when you get it and uh -huh. you know your prices may have gone up a little bit at this point but for us we thought the plan is very reasonable we learned about it i think at Aluminum palooza was yeah we was at Aluminum palooza but they've come to other rallies right they usually are at the airstream international rally and i know they will be there in october yeah and if you have Local clubs that have rallies, um, you can contact them, and they may be willing to do a presentation for your group. Yeah. I know last year we had a presentation at one of our rallies, and quite a few people signed up for it. Right. And, and, it, and it doesn't have to be Airstream. I mean, no, they, they, it they, doesn't. They connect with any type of RVers, any type of travelers, really. And it could, could be business travelers that, mm -hmm. you know, whatever... Type of traveling you do, SkyMed offers a plan for you. So right, and without it, I can't even imagine the situation we would have been in, and the cost of it. We wouldn't enough. We wouldn't have gotten the level of service, and we would have paid for all of this yes. out of our pocket. Yes. So, you know, there's there's a lot more to SkyMed that you heard in the video that we're not even going to get into. We're just really talking about our experience here. Right. And this video is not sponsored by SkyMed. This is our own experience with SkyMed. Right. And our recommendation to you that you just never know. Um, if you're like us, health concerns were not really at the top of our list when we plan our, our um, tr trips to the Southwest. You know, you're thinking about places to stay and what you want to do and yeah. the route you're going to take. But then you really don't think about, oh, what happens if we have a health crisis or a health concern? There's there's a lot here that they cover that it, it's really worth having. Right. And like Diane says, we're not sponsored by SkyMed. We pay for our own insurance on this, mm -hmm. and we definitely feel it's one of the best things we've done. Right. We just wanted to tell you about our recent experience and how well it went and the service that we received from them and about the good outcome. Right. So if you're interested in SkyMed, there will be more information in the description below, including uh, a code for you to use and contact information at, Sky, at SkyMed to talk to somebody. We would recommend that you contact them directly and talk to them. You can go through the website, but if you use our code and talk to them directly, they will offer a better pro rate than what you'd get off the website. Right. So that's about it for SkyMed and our experience. Um, getting home. Yep. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave us a comment. Um, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And we, we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, into the next chapter. Right. Okay. All right. See you guys later. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Well, Jack, thank you so much for making the trip, coming out. We did it from San Diego to Rochester, New York. 2,600 miles in uh, five days. Yes, we did. And uh, no traffic jams, no snow. No, good, good trip. Learn one thing: make sure you get the right cup. And, and Bucky's. And Bucky's. Yep, yep. And say goodbye to the dogs over there. Yeah. So goodbye to the doggies. It just takes over. I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep talking. You can edit. <laughs> so. I appreciate it, and Sherry, you can have him back because he's run out of stories. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, I'll, wait, I'll have new ones. All right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs>